together for Mary. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, put your hands together for Mary. For real. Yeah. I'm uh, doing the thing where um, I'm trying to wash my weight, and so I'm doing the thing where I eat an apple instead of a dessert, and I'm trying to convince myself that I want that apple and not the silky, smooth, delicious <laughs> strawberry Burgerville milkshake. It's the, one, it's the one with the ribbons of whipped cream on top, and uh, you need. <laughs> A hydraulic lift to get it out of the straw. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's um, it's a little bit like an angel took a slightly soft poop. <laughs> like, I don't know if um, maybe there was a little more fiber in heaven that day. <laughs> Maybe, maybe God made some quinoa burrito bowls. I don't know. I don't care. I want that soft angel poop in my mouth. In real life, I'm a kindergarten teacher. Yeah. And, um, it's no. <laughs> I uh, I get that like reaction a lot. Like when I tell people that, they usually go, "Oh, that's so cute." <laughs> And it's not cute when you've got 26 five-year-olds in the back of the classroom staging a coup against you. <laughs> I mean, 26 kids, that's more than a family of Duggars. <laughs> yes. And uh, it's without all the older molesty ones there. <laughs> kids how to read, but many of them just learn how to wipe their own buns, and uh, some of them still don't know how. And uh, I had this student once that just always had a shark on the deck. Oh my god. started one, was in the middle of one, was at the end of it, somewhere in the shark cycle. <laughs> so one day, finally I go, dude, did you poop in your pants? <laughs> and he looks me dead in the eye and he says, clearly I did not. <laughs> like Johnny Cochran in the OJ Simpson. <laughs> if I did not shit, you must have quit. <laughs> so, uh, so I said to him, I looked at him straight in the eye, and I said, um, Listen, kid, I'm gonna get forensics down here. <laughs> and if they find so much as a melted chocolate chip in your underwear, you're going downtown. You're jealous. You're jealous. <laughs> and then it's loner underwear time for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, um, so every teacher 
teacher has this moment in the beginning of the day where they're getting ready for the day and they um, have this moment where they're like, I can't, I gotta get out of here. This is, I can't be here today. Because you know this. <laughs> you know that you have a stampede of kids that is gonna just run you down and, and every single one of them needs something from you at that moment. So, <laughs> I know I'm always gonna have the one kid that she wants to tell about her dog dying for the 50th time. <laughs> and I just want to say to her, honey, I think he killed himself to get away from you. <laughs> oh my God. And then <laughs> there's always the kid who's got a, some gift he found. <laughs> I got you this rock. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even you know that rocks make terrible presents. <laughs> yes. So, um, I think I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna, I could be in California by tonight. I'm gonna grab my keys, get out of here. But I need some money, so maybe I could be a stripper, but my mom would be disappointed. <laughs> or maybe I could work at Starbucks, but I know how to spell people's names. <laughs> yes. But who am I kidding? I don't have any transferable skills. <laughs> oh my God. The closest thing would be calf roping. <laughs> <laughs> But I look terrible in chat. <laughs> and I have a hard enough time wrangling my two dogs. I've got two dogs. One's named Gus, and he's a Havanese Lhasa Apso Shih Tzu, so he's a Hava Lhasa Shit. <laughs> the other one is a Chihuahua Dachshund, so he's a Chihuini, and. <laughs> His name is Jesus Julian Manuel Iglesias Especial de la Casa Elias. <laughs> Chewy for short. His birth mother was Catholic. So, you may have heard in there, Especial de la Casa. In English, that's the house special, and Chewy really is the house special <laughs> in a couple of ways. <laughs> in one way, he's special, like he's qualified for special ed. <laughs> he, uh, he thinks that a young mother pushing her stroller down the street is an imminent threat and a suicide bomber. <laughs> he needs to neutralize it with incessant barking and nervous pacing. He, um, my other dog, Gus, considers him the house special in the way that... <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go there, too. <laughs> special in the way a restaurant would use the term. And Gus begins his day by delicately taking in the aroma of Chewy's wiener. No! <laughs> uh, yes! <laughs> and he kind of steps back and it's almost like he's saying to himself, mm, t this is a good batch today. <laughs> Do I detect notes of almond? <laughs> it's crisp. Yet smooth on the palate. <laughs> I am crazy about my dogs, but I didn't really know how crazy I could really be until I got married to my husband. Um, uh, and I think this happened because uh, I am always right, and he is always wrong, and he doesn't agree with that. So. <laughs> So I become a straight serial killer. <laughs> so we have to, uh, to avoid his murder, we have to have two separate bathrooms. And uh, in order to keep my toothbrush as far away as possible from his beard clippings. <laughs> we have um, to get two separate bricks of toilet paper 
And I always assume he's going to carry his clear back to his bathroom, but no, no, he leaves it in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> pick up the brick of toilet paper and carefully place it in a dark corner where I know he'll be walking soon <laughs> because I want him to trip and get hurt and learn a lesson. <laughs> Closing the AC vent in my bathroom somehow makes the whole rest of the house more efficient. <laughs> and what it doesn't realize is it becomes a sweat lodge in my bathroom with this 100 degree weather. So I carefully put a post-it note on the vent that said, if you touch this, I'll cut you. <laughs> He'll be at the grocery store and he'll look down at the list and see arsenic on the list. <laughs> and he'll think, he's just so sweet and oblivious, he'll think, uh, <laughs> we must have ants again. <laughs> the next time you'll see me, it will be on Oxygen Network's newest show, If You Just would have listened. <laughs>